Hello, everyone. I would like to share our Petronas journey with Animal. Similar to our chairman mentioned, the motivation for having an industrial inspection robot on oil and gas platform is to reduce HSC risk by minimizing offshore workforce deployment. Uh, we want to reduce the OPEX due to offshore workforce logistic. And also we would like to have an improve uh, of data tagging and storage and automatic uh, report generation. In our journey with Animal, our first field test was conducted at INSTEP. So this is actually a upstream training platform. So this is in Malaysia. Uh, we test uh, animal here, uh, basically because it is hydrocarbon free, but uh, it is built, uh, it is equipped uh, similarly to an actual uh, oil and gas platform. We tested for the autonomous navigation and inspection. Uh, we asked the robot, uh, the animal, to perform walkabout, to perform stair climbing. Uh, we make use uh, of the sensor on board of the animal to perform general visual inspection, to read the analog and digital gauges, uh, to do thermal imaging, and also to record uh, audio uh, emitting from a pump. Uh, we also tested the autonomous battery recharging uh, over here. So next slide, where you can see we mapped uh, the entire platform. It consists of fourth floor. And here you can see the animal is uh, doing the walkabout around the platform and also to perform the stair climbing. At this stage, the performance of animal for stair climbing is a bit slow. But later on, you can see that it improved a bit to somewhat where it is almost an acceptable uh, performance. So here uh, we charge the animal autonomously. So we did uh, this field testing with an robotic crew, uh, three of them came in Malaysia for a week at Insta. So animal can also uh, take these images, uh, which are quite important for, uh, for us to know the condition of the platform. So here you can see uh, the animal is reading the analog gauges and providing the digital readout. Uh, we always turn on the camera, uh, the, the, the thermal camera, because sometimes we want to see if there are any hotspots or if there are any gas leakage. So that is uh, our experience uh, testing the animal at instead. Uh, it was on shore. We can spend quite some time over there. Next, we feel that it is not complete if we do not bring the animal to offshore, where its actual workplace are. Uh, over here, uh, at offshore, we are not so concerned about testing the, the sensor on board of the animal because we have tested in instead. We are more concerned about how the animal would uh, navigate on the offshore platform, right? The environment at the offshore platform are very windy. Uh, the floor could be very dirty. As you can see in the video previously, the floor of uh, platform at instep are quite clean, so it faced no problem. So what you can see in this picture here uh, is the offshore platform uh, at, uh, of course, Peninsula Malaysia, a few uh, about 200 kilometer away. Uh, it is called Dulang. Uh, since animal is still a non-EX, so we test this at the water injection module where it is a uh, hydrocarbon free. So if you can see just beside the crane, there are three floor module. Uh, that is the water injection module. So we ask the animal to perform general visual inspection, uh, record thermal imaging and also audio recording. Uh, we perform also the uh, autonomous battery recharging and also uh, stair climbing. This is at level two of the water injection module. So over here, this is a, a point cloud uh, where we generate using the animal itself. The green color line are the waypoint which we program. 
and then the green dots is the uh, checkpoint and then the red dots are the inspection point. Uh, together, it make up uh, 23 inspection point at level 2. And at level 3, there are less things to inspect, so we keep it to three items only. So what will happen is that uh, the, the inspection routine starts from animal undock from its uh, docking station. So it will go down and then it will start to move following the green line. And then it will stop at the checkpoint and perform uh, pre-trained uh, inspection. So over here, you can see there are four windows. Okay, uh, the one on the right bottom is the, the video taken by us showing the movement of the animal. On top is the uh, point cloud and on the top left is the uh, thermal imaging and on the left bottom is the uh, video, com video feed coming from the camera on board the animal. So this is the animal undocked. Uh, all autonomously done. So we, we, we fix the animal with a small docking station because uh, at night when it rains, the, the floor will be very wet. So, so it's, it's better that we keep it uh, a little bit raised up. So the animal is coming down and then it start to follow the green line uh, in the point cloud and it stop here uh, to take an audio recording. There's a small palm there, just uh, and then it move. Uh, over here, there, uh, it takes a three, uh, three pictures of the palm. Here we, we were interested to see whether there are any leakages or not. The video camera on board of the animal is, uh, it can produce 4K uh, video, uh, 20 times zoom. So that is very uh, useful in this platform. The height of this uh, uh, platform is eight meters. So there are a lot of tall structures. So during mapping, we did face some uh, difficulty uh, because there are a lot of tall structures and not so many, uh, you know, uh, low level uh, structures. But regardless, we managed uh, to completely perform the inspection uh, at this level. So moving on from this level, so if you can see on the point cloud, right? So uh, down there is where the animal is the docking station. And then it has to go out through that door and then starting start to climb the stair. So the height of this, the total height of the stair is eight meters. It has 36 uh, number of stairs altogether. For us, uh, this is very, very much different than in step. It's very steep, about 45 degrees, and the width is not that wide, uh, just enough for the animal. So it was quite challenging uh, to map the stairs. If you can see on one side, we have a wall, and on the other side are just uh, open sea. So that was quite challenging to get a good map and then to get a stable uh, stair climbing. But nevertheless, we managed to complete the stair climbing. Uh, it was windy. It was always windy at uh, offshore. The wind speed is about 17 knot at this time, but we are happy to, to report that it did not affect the stability of the animal. So it went up all the way to the third floor, perform three uh, inspection point, and then to and then it climbed down back again. So this we tested uh, several times. It was a success uh, stack climbing. There are a few things to be improved, but uh, we we have strong confidence that antibiotic can deliver the the required performance which we want. So those are two things which we want to test at the offshore. We were there for three weeks. Uh, at, in the early days, we spent quite some time to, to set up uh, the animal. Uh, due to the COVID pandemic, 
uh, and the Baltic uh, were not be were not able to join us at offshore. So there were two of us uh, setting up the animal and perform the test. So here are some of the outcome on on the locomotion. The animal has no problem uh, walking on the flat flooring, right? Including uh, if there are water puddles uh, on that flat flooring. But in fact, if I were to compare, it would be better if the animal can walk on the grating. It has more more grip. So there was no issue at instep with the grating and also no issue with the uh, flat flooring. So I I would say that. Uh, robots uh, manufacturer have to go to the to the offshore because the thing that you test in the lab would not be similar when you are going uh, at offshore. We 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 run the animal for 60 minutes continuously, so we, we managed to do that, and we also operated the animal uh, during day and then also night. So I guess that's my my sharing to you. Uh, I'll, I'm happy to take question later on if you guys are interested. Thank you very much.